Recently, I made a bet with a couple of my colleagues that I could remember all 50 US states without looking any of them up. I just sort of added to the list in my spare time and I didn't really take it that seriously. But once I got going, I got to 49 pretty quickly. And then trying to remember the 50th one bugged me for ages until I eventually remembered it. But I'm not going to show you the list I made out because then you could look at the last one that is on the list and you see which one I struggled to remember and I don't want to offend anybody from Indiana. Oh crap. Anyway, today I'm going to take it a stage further and I am going to try and place all 50 states because I think I've been kind of mean to Americans in my past videos and I thought it would be nice to give them something to laugh at. Now I should point out that this idea has been inspired by Lee Scottish Last, also known as Moscow. I'll give you a link to her video and her channel below. Uh, she knows I am doing this, so let's see if I can do as well as her or better. I'm aiming for 25, because I, I reckon 50% would be an acceptable pass mark, but I'm going to try and get as many as I can. Right, so I don't know how well that's going to come out on your screen, but it seems to be the best camera setup that I can do, so I'm just going to have to go with it. Right, first of all, I notice that there are 50 states, but there's only 48 outlined on the map here. Yeah, you're not going to get me that easily, America. And normally, down here, there would be pictures of Hawaii and Alaska for me to label, but they're not there on this one. So I'm just going to put to Alaska. There, this obviously is... Canada and little arrow here saying to Hawaii. This obviously is in Mexico and uh, I'm left with an arrow that I'm not using here so I'm just going to Guatemala. Now, as Moscow said in her vlog, S-D-K, which in my case stands for South Dakota, because I know where that one is, because it's got an Aberdeen in it, so that's a good start. I've got 3 out of 50 so far, so let's see where I can go from here. Right, logic dictates that this would be North Dakota. But well, hang on, wait a minute. That's just what they'll be expecting me to do. What if it's a trick question? And North Dakota could be down here. Well, no, it can't be, because that's Nebraska. Because I know that, thanks to John Oliver. So, let's just say that they knew where North was when they made the states, and that this is North Dakota here. I'm sure it is. It's got to be. Okay. Uh, right, let's just fill in the ones that everybody knows. Everyone knows that this is California here. And this is Florida, obviously. And who doesn't know where Texas is obviously we know that one of course everybody knows that this is Kentucky and it has a border with Illinois where Chicago is so that's Illinois everyone knows that right okay so I'm kind of stuck now there's we've got Quite a lot of states still to fill in in my general knowledge. Hang on a minute, I've been to America. I should be able to fill in most of the eastern seaboard. I don't know if you will be able to see that on the map very well. I'm just going to fill it in. I'll maybe zoom in on it later on. Uh, but you've got... Uh, let me see, where's Niagara Falls? The, these are the Great Lakes around here. Uh, Niagara Falls, I think that's that there. Which makes that New York State. Where 
just stayed a few nights and this I'm just going to put N J here for New Jersey because that's where we flew into and we went up and around this area so we've got this big one here is Massachusetts so I'm only going to get mass in there and that small one is Rhode Island and the state that connects them what's the name of it again? state that connects the other states oh but it's got a name yeah I'm only kidding with you Connecticut I know that you're con Connecticut my sister worked on the border there for like six months or something uh, right okay now these three here part of New England well New Hampshire has got to be up there it, well, it is up there, I know that. The other two are Maine and Vermont. But I'm not sure what order. Now, I think the big one is Maine. Pretty sure of that. Now, would New Hampshire be next to New York? <laughs> Makes sense, I suppose. Well, hang on a minute. I'm, I'm really stretching here. But I remember an episode of Friends where Ross disappeared to Vermont overnight, some hotel there. So I would think it has a border with New York. So I'm going to put that one is Vermont. And this one I'll just put NH for New Hampshire. So that's that filled in. And then we've got uh, if you come back down here which I did Pennsylvania home of the Amish people we stayed overnight at a place called Intercourse I won't hear a word against the Amish people they know how to name a town um, and this small one here is Delaware the first state to ratify the US Constitution that's the only thing I know about it, but I hope you like that. And this one here is Maryland. And that exhausts the amount of states I've been to. And after I fail spectacularly at this, I probably won't be allowed back to any more. Uh, but looking over the river from Washington, D.C., you've got Virginia must be here. And, well, that's Kentucky, so that only leaves this one here as West Virginia. And continuing down the eastern seaboard, we've got North and South Carolina, I'm pretty sure. I remember researching that for one of my previous videos, the uh, battle between the UK and US flags. Still my most popular video, no idea why. Okay, so that's North and South Carolina. Now, what borders Florida? There's Alabama as one of them. But I don't think Alabama is there. I think I used to think it was there and then I found out it was further over. But I do think it has a border with Florida, so this must be Alabama, which leaves that to be Georgia, because I'm pretty sure it has a there. Now, where did Top Gear go? They went up Florida through Alabama, both for the border. Can't remember what border they went for. I think they ended up in New Orleans, Louisiana. Louisiana was here, yeah. That's right. Named after a French king, and again, that's pretty much all I know about it. This is not a history lesson. It's a geography lesson for me, that's for sure. Got most of the Confederate states in there. Um, Where's Mississippi? It's around here, because I, I remember John Oliver pointing out that Mississippi still had the Confederate battle flag as part of its actual state flag. So it, it's got to be one of these three. Uh, 
I think. Well, I'm just looking at this because didn't they use rivers to use the, them as borders back in the day? I, I think this up here is actually the Mississippi River and they just built the state borders along that. And I think that is Mississippi there. M I double S I double S I double P I. Have you been missold PPI on the naming of your state? Tennessee, then. It, it's got to be that. Ten. Spelling doesn't count, okay? I'm not going to get them all right, despite how good I am at spelling. Now let's try and get these ones in by the Great Lakes. Um, Moscow was pretty sure that was Wisconsin. She filled it in pretty quickly. So I'm just going to go with her on that one. And she thought Ohio was here, where Illinois is, to start with. And then she changed her mind and went Ohio 2.0 over here. And I remember watching that and thinking, yeah, she's right about that. So I'm going to put Ohio in there. And that's a, this has got to be Michigan here. So that's Michigan. And I think the one that's missing in there is the one it took me so long to remember. That's Indiana in there, it couldn't go anywhere else, because it's not a western state. Okay, it, well if I'm right, and I'm not saying I am, but if I am right I'm doing okay here, I've got most of the east filled in, well I've got all of the east filled in, just got Tornado Alley in the west to do now, but I don't know where to take as my starting point. Um, Right, okay, let, let's do these areas here. I'm pretty sure this shaped one here is Nevada. With the, uh, like, say, Area 51 and uh, Las Vegas and stuff, but that's over that way. And New Mexico is on the border with Texas, I know that. And, you know, you wouldn't put New Mexico somewhere up here, would you? Well, I mean, you might, but I won't. Um, and the only other state that has a border with Mexico, and also California, I think, is... Th that's Arizona, in there, for sure. That's Arizona. Okay. Um, one of these is Washington, and the other one is Oregon. And I can never remember which one it is, but my gut is saying that... Washington is the top left one because I'm sure I'd remember something about thinking that Washington State was about as far away from Washington DC as you can get so I think that's Washington which makes that Oregon I used to know somebody from Oregon so she'll be pretty annoyed if I get that the wrong way around I think this one's Oklahoma Again, that's just a gut feeling. I have no evidence to back that up whatsoever, but I'm, I'm going with Oklahoma. Kansas is in the middle. I know Kansas is in the middle somewhere, so where's the middle? I've always thought Kansas is pretty central. So I'm just wondering if it's there or there. What is central to... I'm going to have to get a ruler out in a minute. Right, okay, central, Kansas. There. Done. Don't care if it's wrong. I can't spend ages just worrying about the individual placement of states in Kansas. Oh no, how, hang on a minute. Back ages ago I was speaking about rivers and I had Mississippi there. But there's also a state called Missouri. Now I think Missouri is a tributary of Mississippi. So does it come down here then? I, something just doesn't ring true about that. Um, I know Arkansas is spelt with Kansas in it, and I think I remember 
getting the, the red somewhere that they don't actually have a border Arkansas and Kansas because I always kind of thought they would have so the, what we know is that's not Arkansas and Missouri's got to go somewhere it wouldn't be all the way up there so right let's stick Missouri in there screw it Arkansas I think I'm well on my way to my target of getting at least half of them right. I might manage more than that, but I'll have a few wrong, probably, by now. Um, right, what have I got left? I'm just thinking, the names of what we've got left, there's a few, like uh, Montana, for example, and Minnesota. They're the, I've always associated them with Canada. They sound like things that you would name a Canadian province, not a state. So I'm going to put both of them on the Canadian border, I reckon. Right, they both start with M. So let's just put that in so we can rule out the other states. And what are we left with? We're left with Colorado. We're left with Idaho and Iowa. Utah and Wyoming. Right. Colorado is one of these two here. Because it comes from the Spanish colour red, I think. Don't quote me on that, uh, I'm not a teacher. Okay, so working at Utah is here somewhere as well. It, it's in the Wild West, so... We've got Utah and we've got Colorado. Let's work logically. Utah has a lot of desert in it, so does Arizona, so does Nevada, so does New Mexico. And Colorado, despite the colour red thing, it also has like snow-capped mountains and stuff because oh, I'm basing that on South Park basically so it would make more sense to me that Utah was here and Colorado here because I don't think Colorado is any further north than that let's I need to make a decision on this um, I think uh, right, okay. it's 50-50 uh, Minnesota. Right, I tell you what, Iowa is definitely not one of those two, so that only leaves that. And have I got a coin somewhere? This sound you can hear is genuinely me tossing a coin. So if it comes up heads, I'll put Idaho on the west. And it has come up heads. So, yeah, okay, right. Idaho, there we go. And Wyoming must go in there. That's my guess. Right now, hopefully I managed to make it through all this video without offending anybody. I'm off to see how I did. Or, as you know, you can let me know in the comments if you like. Either way, I'm not going to post on this video how I did because people might want to try the challenge for themselves. I'm pretty sure I managed to reach my target of 25, but I don't know the exact number. And once again, thanks to We Scottish Lass, whose channel I will link below. You should definitely check her out uh, for coming up with this challenge.